Have you ever thought of placing orders just before the volume kickoff? Or have you ever wanted to place your trade just where the big banks enter position? Well, in this video, I will be showing you this amazing 1 minute scalping strategy that has a high win rate ratio and is also very profitable as the RR ratio is really a good one. I will be back testing it with an account size of $1000 and I will be going over 200 back tested trades to make sure it is profitable on the long run. I will also be using 1% of our account size for each trade to enable us trade comfortably. Please like, share, and subscribe as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, for today's strategy, we will be using the Euro United States dollar, and we are on the 1 minutes time frame, as this strategy works best on lower time frames. Now for this strategy, make sure you watch till the end, as there are a lot of errors to avoid while using this method, so you wouldn't like to miss any part of it. Now let's go over the indicator we would be using for this strategy, as it is an important part of the strategy. For the first indicator, bring up the indicator panel. I want you to search for the chandelier stop by Pip Charlie. This is the modified version of the chandelier and Kroll stop indicator. But for this strategy, this indicator would be confirming the general trend in the market. Now for the second indicator, search for the ADX Trend Strength Leaf West Style by J. This indicator is the reason why we would be taking position at the very important spot when trading as it is a combination of two trend strength meter indicator, the ADX and DMI. So make sure you check out this indicator later, as there are a lot of amazing ideas to generate from it. Now, let's quickly go ahead and adjust the settings for this indicators to make us better understand the valid rules for taking position. Now, I want you to double click on the chandelier stop. On the style, I want you to change these colors to green for the colors zero, then change the colors 1 to red. Now for the input, we won't be changing the settings as they are perfect on the default settings. Go ahead and click on the OK button when you are done. This indicator will help us identify the general direction on the market. Although a lot of people make use of this indicator as an exit indicator as it is good at identifying points of market reversal, but the opposite is the case for this strategy. So whenever we see the green moving average, then we are in a bullish trend, and also whenever we see the red moving average, we are in a bearish trend. As we buy on the greens and sell on the reds. Now for the second indicator, go ahead and double click on the indicator to bring up its settings panel. On the style, I want you to change these trend strengths to step lines, then increase the opacity for the color 0 and color 1. For the plot option, I want you to change these to step line as well. Then also increase the opacity for color 0 and reduce its thickness to the lowest option and also do the same for color 1. I want you to also increase the opacity for the Mendoza line. Then go ahead and untick the chop zone and extreme zone before you click on the OK button. This indicator will help us better gauge the strength of the existing trend as we would be entering trade at the beginning of a new developing trend in order to better profit from the market. Well, that's not all yet for the settings as I want you to add a straight line on the indicator. Double click on the straight line and change the values to 35. When you are done, go ahead and click on the OK button. Now we are set with the settings. Let's now quickly go over the rules for a valid buy and sell signal as we would be back testing our strategy at the end of the video and ranking it on the spreadsheet for better comparison. And before we forget, please check the link on the description below to watch our video on the risk management strategy as it is very important to apply what was said on the video on this strategy for maximum profit in the market. For a buy signal to be valid, we first need to see the trend strength close below the green band line, also known as the Mendoza line, as our first confirmation. This indicates that the strength of an existing trend is at its lowest point. Now we want to wait till we notice the first increase on the step line. You can easily identify the change in increase from the indicator value. When the increase occurs, we would be checking for two things. 
First, what color is on the step line when the increase occurred? And secondly, what color is our chandelier stop? If we have both on green, then we would go ahead and place a buy stop order at the peak of the trigger candlestick. So we see here that we met all our condition, as we see that when we had the increase on the trend strength after it closed below the green band line. We had our increase on the step line while the step line is on green. And we can see we have the chandelier stop on green as well, so we would go ahead and place a buy stop order at the peak of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss at the recent swing low, or on the chandelier stop moving average. I mean to say, whichever is close to the entry point would serve as the level for our stop loss. And we can see that from the point of entry, the recent swing low is the closest to the entry. And for the take profit levels, we will use two times the risk. And we see it was successful. Please note that we only take another trade once the trend strength moving average closes above the 35 band line before we hunt for our next trade entry. And also, like I said earlier, watch the risk management video as it would help you gain more on this strategy. The link is on the description below. Keep watching as we reveal more crucial errors to avoid if you must use this strategy. Please note that whenever we open buy or sell trades and our chandelier changes its color to opposite trend entry, we would be exiting the trade for a small loss or take profit. So we see here that we got a valid buy stop order as we see all our conditions were met. So we would go ahead and place a buy stop order at the peak of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss and take profit levels remain the same. Notice we had a change of direction from the chandelier stop. So we would have exited the trade at this point and walked away with a small profit. Now notice we got another entry here as the trend strength indicator closed above the 35 band line before an opportunity was present here. We had our entry at this point. So let's see how the trade did. We could see it did hit our take profit level. Notice how we avoided a lot of false signals, as when we had our first entry which was not triggered, we also had a lot of other entry signals. But as long as the trend strength indicator did not close above the 35 band line, we won't be taking any trades. Our next entry occurred at the bottom of this trigger candlestick, but the trade was not also triggered, as we can see its lows are lower than the next candlestick that turned out to be bullish. So make sure you know exactly where and when to enter a valid sell or buy trade. Notice that when we had the buy entry at this point, we won't be entering this trade as the chandelier is on red. So we would have avoided this trade. Exactly the opposite is true for a short entry. For a sell position to be valid, we first need to see the trend strength close below the green band line, also known as the Mendoza line, as our first confirmation. As this indicates that the strength of an existing trend is at its lowest point. Now we want to wait till we notice the first increase on the step line. You can easily identify the change in increase from the indicator value. When the increase occurs, we would be checking for two things. First, what color is on the step line when the increase occurred? And secondly, what color is our chandelier stop? If we have both on red, then we would go ahead and place a sell stop order at the bottom of the trigger candlestick. So we see here that we met all our condition. We see that when we had the increase on the trend strength after it closed below the green band line, we had our increase on the step line while the step line is on red, and we can see we have the chandelier stop on red as well. So we would go ahead and place a sell stop order at the bottom of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss at the recent swing high, or on the chandelier stop moving average. I mean to say, whichever is close to the entry point would serve as the level for our stop loss. And we can see that from the point of entry, the chandelier stop is the closest to the entry. And for the take profit levels, we will use two times the risk. And we see it was successful. Also notice we got another entry here as well, as we can see we also met our conditions here. 
Now notice that why we are taking this trade is because we had the trend strength moving average close above the 35 band line before we got this entry at this point. So we would go ahead and place a sell stop order at the bottom of the trigger candlestick. Also notice that we had a different stop loss placement here. We would be placing our stop loss at the recent swing high as that is the closest to our entry point while our take profit levels remain the same. And we see it was successful as well. Okay traders, let's now go ahead and back test our strategy with an account size of $1,000 as we would be going over 200 back tested trades and risking 1% of our account size on each trade. At the end of the video, we would be comparing them on our spreadsheet with other strategies back tested on this channel. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and we can see the results are amazing. We see we had a win rate of 57% for a 1 is to 2 RR ratio. Having won 114 trades and lost 86 trades, which made us 116% return on investment. As some of the trades were closed before take profit and some other closed before stop loss hit. And I found those wonderful trade setups within 2 weeks. Although commissions and spread fees would eat up some of the profit in real trading because it was not included in the back test. So you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading life. Okay guys, let's now compare the strategy to some other strategies I've already tested on this channel. In terms of return on investment, this strategy is not the most accurate one. 116% return on investment is not bad for a short term trade. You should probably test this strategy out if you want weekly profits from the market. If we take a look at the win rate, which is probably one of the most important metrics, we can see that the strategy is actually looking fair, as it is above the half win rate percentage, for 1 is to 2 RR ratio. So yeah, traders, definitely give this strategy a try, and make sure you do the proper back testing and forward testing before trading live. By the way, if you have any strategy you would like to try out, please let us know on the comment section. Also, feel free to check out my other videos on our channel. I have playlists with different strategies and indicators that will definitely make you a profitable trader. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.